a talk that I've given at uh, the this British Thoracic Oncology Group conference um, uh, was on the uh, role of rebiopsy uh, in patients with uh, in patients with lung cancer who harbour an EGFR mutation. So, as we know, approximately fifteen percent of patients uh, with lung cancer. Uh, have uh, an EGFR mutation and they are usually treated with a first-line tyrosine kinase inhibitor after a uh, medium progression-free survival of approximately 9 to 12 months uh, very often they will develop progressive disease and at this point then the question is what is the next line of treatment and just recently in the last few months there's been important data that's been published in the New England Journal of Medicine the Aura 3 uh, randomized trial that now shows the benefit of a new drug, osimertinib, a, sec uh, a new generation uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor, um, uh, uh, and shows that it has efficacy in those patients who have now developed a T790M mutation. So the question in, uh, in patients with progressive disease is do they have a T790M mutation? My specific talk was, was addressing how we diagnose that T790M mutation in patients. And there are two two main ways that really are comp complementary. Uh, so uh, a, a way that's really come to fore in the last uh, year or so is the use of cell-free DNA. Uh, so this would be a blood test. Uh, they get sent to a laboratory. Uh, the blood is spinned down and the plasma uh, uh, is analysed and the DNA is harvested and that is, uh, uh, using PCR is checked for uh, um, a T790M mutation. And that is an extremely convenient test for patients and it can be done relatively quickly. Um, unfortunately, however, it only has a sensitivity of between 60 and 70%. And that sensitivity is lower in patients who only have intrathoracic disease. So commonly our patients just will progress within the lungs. And the sensitivity of that test is going to be about 60%. So what my talk was focusing on was the role of biopsy techniques uh, in these patients uh, in whom we want to work out whether they have a T790M mutation. And there are two key techniques that we use. One is endobronchial ultrasound. So this is, particularly in the UK, widely implemented now as a technique to take biopsies in patients with lung cancer. It allows us to sample areas uh, adjacent to the airway, so lymph nodes next to the uh, next to the trachea, the subcarinal area, and the hilar lymph node areas. It does not allow usually access to the periphery of the lung or to lymph nodes within the aortopulmonary window. But we also work very closely with radiology colleagues who can do CT guided biopsies, and that's the second most common um, uh, way of taking biopsies in these patients. So between endobronchial ultrasound and CT-guided biopsies, we can often be uh, able to take biopsies from virtually anywhere within the thorax uh, in order to obtain tissue to analyse for, uh, for T790M.